About a year ago, I did a video reading my hate comments on YouTube and you guys really enjoyed that video, so I figured I would do a another one for 2022. No matter what type of content you are posting to the internet, you are bound to get some sort of hateful, rude comments, so it's best to just embrace these kinds of things. They honestly are hilarious. Starting off with a goodie. I'm sorry, no hate. <laughs> but you don't know everything you come across to me as someone who thinks they are amazing and know everything about hamsters you don't. Let's me real no hate though. No hate though, so there's no hate behind it. No hate though. I'm sorry, I am amazing. What do you want from me? <laughs> LOL, anorexic female version of Ed Sheeran. So creative. Um, I'm not buying a hamster cage that is bigger than my room. I'll stick with the one from the pet store. I truly hope that your room isn't 40 inches by 20 inches because there's no way that you are not going to have back pain trying to sleep in a room that size. So they're gonna die anyway, so what's the point in really taking good care of them? You know, what's the point of life really at all? You got a grandparent? They're old, they're gonna die. What? Sorry, Grandma, we can't take care of you anymore. You're gonna die anyways, so bye-bye. Um, Victoria, do you know what criticism is? It is when you tell someone to not do something, then you do it. Does not mean you tell someone what you think. I'm sorry, I called you out, but someone had to. <laughs> I have no words. She looks like a mean girl. All her facials look like it's a chore. I'm so glad, Darren, you don't have to live in my body. It is a chore. I physically am tired all the time from just making faces. There seems to be quite a theme with a lot of these comments. You think you know everything. It's so annoying. I've never once said I know everything. In fact, a lot of the times with things I don't know, I will flat out say, I don't know, I can't give any advice, I don't have any experience on this. That implies that I don't know everything. This one was kind of like a little plot twisty. Um, this girl is so annoying, OMG, why is this in my recommended? Later to find out this person had commented on my other videos and then actually denied it, which I can clearly see who comments on my videos and who doesn't. Um, and if you didn't know, the more you interact, comment, like, watch somebody's videos, the more YouTube is going to recommend them to you. I'm sorry, but your voice makes me want to die. This comment was deleted three seconds later, so one can only assume that this person has passed. So I am hoping, well, they, imagine they went to hell and it was just my voice. <laughs> sorry, but this is definitely wrong. Hamster needs real hummus and dirt. A hamster likes to build tunnels and living in the underground. So I've been lying to you guys. Hamsters actually need 10 inches of hummus. Um, I didn't want to tell you guys this because hummus is really expensive. Um, so I was just trying to save money. So I'm so sorry for lying to you guys. Um, Hummus is the best substrate. Okay, this will be the only time I comment this and I won't be replying to any replies, which they did. Why do you have to keep going on about how rubbish the store stuff is in all your videos? It gets annoying after a while. It's like, we get it, move on. So this person commented this on a video where I talked about a four inch hamster wheel not being suitable and why you shouldn't use it. I talked about this for 30 seconds, 30 seconds. 
Now what this person lacks in understanding is that not everybody who clicks on my videos is subscribed to me or has watched any of my previous videos or even knows about hamster care. So it is extremely important that I try my best to mention certain things in case somebody new is watching the video and I show this small hamster wheel. If I don't say anything about it and they don't know anything about hamster care, they're going to further believe that that wheel is fine. That is why I have to say, hey, this wheel is not a suitable size for a hamster. Dude, we want to learn about hamsters, not second grade math. It also looks like we need to learn spelling. First of all, I love when they start with that. This girl say font get the tiny tails cage cause they're too small. Girl, they can live in anything. They legit are made for it. If you want proof, you can even ask a scientist or the pestered. What's a pestered? What scientist? <laughs> I mean, yeah, anything can live in anything. Um, it just means you may die faster. I mean, a human could live in a cage. This one was amazing because this person just like self-reported on themselves and didn't even realize it. Girl, stop acting like you know everything. Um, so I responded to this comment to which they were telling me how their hamster has ama an amazing home and they take such good care of their hamster. And then they told me to stop replying because it was 10 p.m. in Australia. Too bad it's illegal to own hamsters in Australia. Gotcha. That lucky <laughs> adopted a pregnant hamster. So lucky you and now it pissed me off. You are such a jerk to hamsters. I think this comment was on my why you shouldn't get a hamster video, which people go absolutely mad over and it's hilarious. I, I love that video. No, she's wrong. R-O-N-G, wrong. Just like my spelling. Who made you the hamster expert? This is such a funny comment because I've literally never ever ever proclaimed myself to be an expert. I actually have it on my channel to say that I do not have any degrees. I am not an expert. Um, I simply have experience and I like to research about hamsters. A lot of the times the people who write these comments just have a lot of self guilt because they've learned that they've been doing something wrong with their hamster and they feel guilty about it. And instead of being like, oh man, I gotta change what I'm doing. They lash out at the person that's just told them something. Are you a vet? No, because my hamster is doing just fine biting her cage. You don't have to be a vet to understand body language. And the last comment is an interesting one and that is gatekeeping hamster food much. <laughs> This is about the fact that I make my own homemade hamster seed mix and I'm not comfortable sharing the recipe um, because I'm not obligated to share anything I'm not comfortable sharing. There's also legalities and the fact that it's really important people know how to make their own mix and be able to change out different ingredients. And it's a learning experience. If you're just following someone's recipe, you're not learning very much. Gatekeeping would be like if I said nobody else could make hamster food. So I hope you guys found this video as funny as I did. Keep in mind, this is a very small percentage of comments that I get. I get a million times more positive comments than I do negative comments and these really don't affect me that much. So don't worry about me. I think these are hilarious comments. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.